Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the professor with Day Trading for Success. So yesterday I had a, a great day, uh, made my whole week, uh, even though we it's a shorter week. So um, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, more realistic for people. That was my great entertainment for the week for everybody. And this is going to be more down to earth, realistic, what most people can afford to trade and show you how the RV strategy works with that. So I'll be trading 100 shares today with AMD, and some of you have seen me trade this before. I'm gonna go into some other detail on here too as to why this setup is a little bit different to, for the RV strategy that I'm trading. Please read this disclaimer. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. This is an entertainment channel only showing you different ways to trade. Um, so make sure you read that. So I already did a couple of small trades that I lost, <laughs> both of them. But um, <clears throat> so it's set for 100 shares. So what are we going to show you today uh, besides trading this? I'm going to, of course, you can get these the scalpers indicator here on this channel for free, uh, as well as the DTX uh, with the alarms for free. So all these custom scripts are available on uh, episode 83. And then the newer scalpers indicators have been made available on uh, quite of the more recent episodes, and it says them in their, their titles. But this is normally my open session. Uh, I'm sorry, not my open session. This is normally my power hour layout, uh, which is also made available just a couple of videos ago. But I've been using it lately because I kind of like it. Uh, it works OK um, unless I'm doing really high momentum. But that, that has the ADX as well as the RSI. And uh, I check in the mornings because I often like today, I probably will trade power hour with higher share size. Um, but I wanted to make sure I had some stuff for you guys here too, to to uh, to trade. So now what's different about the normal RV strategy? I'll go in with the basic way. This is all covered in the book, Day Trading Volume 1, which there's a link to on this, as well as the other books that I had to promote. And by the way, the new book is out, the, um, the Candlestick Pattern, uh, the new... Uh, the second book of the candlestick patterns i think it's um oh god what is the title of that book i don't if you go to the author's page i think it's available now or will be tomorrow um and it's uh it's basically it's really cool because it 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 advances you along in your progress from um you know beginner to advanced to like professional if you can do these, you know, answer the questions in these different quizzes. So it's, it's lo actually longer than the original book. And although it doesn't have the whole rating system, it does have all the patterns. So you really need both, both of those books. So there'll, there'll be a links to it now, starting from this video forward, I'll have the links to that newest book. But anyway, back to the RV strategy. This is today's moving on now. So you look at yesterday's close on a daily chart that I had minimized on my screen. And then under my picture, the you see the you can't see, but the close was 165.69 of the day of this day. Then you look at the ATR down here. So watch watch that number as I go back up. Seven dollars and twenty-seven cents. You divide that in two, so you're roughly getting three dollars and sixty-four cents. And then you subtract half of it from the close to get the ATR low, and you add half of it to the close to get the ATR high. And that's your range for the range bound RV strategy as it, it, it looks like we're right at the bottom of it today. But you start creating a range and I'll go into what all these other lines are in just a second. Um, and you also set uh, Fibonacci levels. So you set on a uh, two day, uh, five minute, let me just get this, see if it's, there it is, yeah. So two day, five minutes, always left to right, high to low, it's got a new low now, but um, this was the low before the market opened. And then that sets us our Fibonacci uh, lines. And then that'll, those, we use those for support and resistance. And then we have the other one is, um, that's my cat as always creating issues here, is on a 10 day back. Uh, and you have a Fibonacci from um, high to low, left to right. So now we have all these Fibonacci, which are creating support and resistance levels, um, ceilings and floors, that if you read the book, it, it tells you exactly how to lay this out, exactly how to trade these support and resistance levels that you're creating. And then finally, um, if we look at, actually, let's look at that five minute again. Okay, you're actually blocking my screen. All right. Uh, so if you see, 
our ATR levels here, we didn't have a lot of action from where we are right now. This is where the action is being traded right now. So if you're looking for support and resistance pivot levels, I mean, this might have been one I could have grabbed. I think it got picked up. Yeah, it did. It got picked up with that little line right there. Um, but there's just nothing else in here. So what you often do, and it does go over this in the book, and you don't see me trade it very often, but you go to the day before on a five-minute chart, and that open that OS stands for Open Session Pivots, and you're trying to um, mark the support and resistance based on, on those open... Oh, I should have just zoomed in on that. Um, so you just... I, I zoom in right here. You can see... I've kind of captured them all, um, any ones that now, now here's where you use a little, uh, you, you're a little subjective, where you're trying to catch more as you go across, so you might move it slightly to catch more. Um, and then as it got out of the play, I didn't, I stopped even marking them, although that hits the fib. So this is where the stock turned around. Now this was just yesterday, so it might not be as uh, respected as a four hour, but you will find that often the day before, because it's so recent, you get the respect because it's so recent, um, not because it's the best level for where people turn around. So I would definitely read about that in the book, but we're, that's all we really have to go by today because we don't have that action. So I get a lot of questions about like, well, how do you decide to do that? How do you decide to do that? Well, if I can't draw support and resistance lines, if, if there's the stock doesn't, you know, as you go back a few days, it's not there. It's way, way, below it or way, way above it, and you don't have any days, it's just open air. Um, so yeah, you have to do what you can do. So you have the fibs and we have the five minute and that's all we really have. So this is the perfect one minute layout or I call it, this is the power hour one. We have another one that's uh, for open, uh, the open session trading right at the, at the open and also just basically the best one minute scalping layout. So one minute chart, scalpers indicator. These are uh, minimized one hour, four hour, the spy, like you open up that, that just kind of tells me what's going on the last few days. If it swales around, you kind of just see where you're at a little bit to give you a feeling. But we go, there's a video that basically shows you how to fig, determine which way the market's going. If you want to watch that video, what we go through to decide which way the market's going to go every day. So obviously, you can't count on it, but it's just one more thing to try to give you an edge. Um, just make sure we got this set up here. This is a five minute, so I wanna make sure that that, I'm watching what the five minute traders are doing. Okay guys, why are you gonna do that whole, I'm not gonna light you up thing again. There we go. So there's my five minute chart and then my ADX and my RSI down here. And then down here's the other five minute I kept opening. So this is the level two, which I will use today um, because of which stock I'm trading and then uh, and the, the share size and then this of course is your uh, active trader so we're all set to go i have a crowd with me up here trading with me for low share size today and the rv start strategy starts exactly one half hour after the market opens so here on east coast time new york stock exchange is 10 o'clock in the morning and that's when we're going to be opening so guys i'm starting to trade i mean so guys i'm looking at this and i'm wondering if we're going to keep going up here um, if it, it's going to break past here. So this is the volume profile. So make sure you watch the video, guys, on how to uh, set up this intraday volume profile. It's going to show you action as it's happening. The point of control here is kind of drawing at the magnet. And then these are the upper and lower levels, these arrows. I also have the VWAP here that has its upper and lower levels. So these are things that help me out in the 20 moving average and the 9 moving average. These all help me out decide how I'm going to scalp this. And of course, the support and resistance lines. And look what happened here. It did bank off that that yesterday open session pivot. So that's why these are uh, important. You can see here too, like many times, it, it just followed them from yesterday. So there are people, there are thousands of people trading in every one of these candles here. So keep that in mind. So, so like big lemmings are going to move us along and help us decide which way we want to go here. So it's bouncing off that. So if it's going to continue to do that, we have about a minute, you know, I will uh, go short and, and ride this back down. Um, so let's just see what happens here. 
we might get it a, a bounce off of this too. So I'll only be trading market. We won't be doing limit. And I'm looking to bounce off that, guys. So we can go in now if everybody's ready. Are we ready? I'm going to go ahead and bounce off that. I got that at 163.92. So I'm hoping it's going to go back up and not just shoot down. So if it goes down, then I'm going to uh, reverse and go the other way. So let's see what happens. No, it's just going to do one tap and leave. So that's a bad opening trade already. So I'm going to hold it a little longer. So I have a max loss of $100 per trade, which is pretty high for for what's going on. Okay, so I don't like seeing that because that's going to pull it down and it's going to pull the point of control up. Um, but if the point of control goes up, we might get a little bounce here. But I'm basically just trying to get it to tap off this again and see if we can get it to, to tap off that again or is it just going to go down. Either way, I'm about ready to reverse. Reverse with a loss or reverse with a with a uh, green here. are all sticking with me there we go i'm gonna reverse right there oh wow it slipped it slipped <laughs> 64 and then it's gonna keep going okay well so that was probably counterintuitive except i'm counting this as a resistance and now it's kind of having what we might call a flat top breakout and i could lose this so uh again it's not it's low share size so we're not going to really panic. We're going to kind of wait some of these moves out and try to catch these little scalps here, guys. So don't, I see half of you are short and half of you are long. So um, so it did not hold it. You can see, kind of did where the other one did. It did not hold it. So let's look to again, to possibly reverse right here again. Watch your scalpers indicators. So sellers went up here and volume went up with them. So this is a little stronger, the last candle. And these are coming up, pulling it down to this level. So let's look to hold this beyond this. I don't know how far beyond it, but you know, maybe it'll go come down. Okay, so the point of control popped up. Did you see that? So that could give it a boost up. So we gotta be careful here. Um, basically, that's just where the price action is, is what it's telling you. So it's not like it's, I make it sound like it's alive. I like to think about things that way. You know, these are all people and people move these things and in a way they're alive, right? But obviously this is just a, a drawing of a candlestick. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna go off this pivot. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look to go off that pivot, guys. 53, it hit it, hit it. what did I get it at, 58? Okay, so I, we're up to 70 bucks. Well, there's some of you that are red, but yep, there's somebody that has $76. So you are the leader at this point. Well, I'm sorry. I looked at the wrong time. I'm still the leader. Sorry. <laughs> so we're going to look to either. Okay. So I was thinking about reversing there. Now I'm thinking about reversing right here. I'm looking at the scalpers indicator to see the strength of the buyers. Look at here. The buyers are really strong, so you don't want to jump out just yet, but we're not up there yet, are we? So it's hitting it at 96%. So that's a really that's a really strong breakout. So it might go up to here, where it was before, and that's a good trade already. I'm at $59. So what's going to happen here? So it's open. It's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse right there, guys. I said, oh no no, I'm gonna reverse back. Wow. So it it I I jumped out too quick. Yep, I jumped out too quick, and then it just went all the way up. So it's gonna go up to the 40. So I'm gonna bank off that, and see if it's gonna hurt me again. So I went up to the 46 here. Yeah, so I'm one I'm 164.42 short. Now I'm not long, I'm short. But maybe I'm the one wrong, not you guys. So we'll see what happens here. Yeah, it looks like I'm the one that's wrong again. So I'm gonna look to go, I'm gonna look to see if I can jump out of here for a lesser loss. I'm gonna try that right there. I'm going long again. 
We'll see if we can get up to that next pivot point up here. I just tried to capture those, which you know, doesn't necessarily work out every time. So I'm going to try to capture this one too. Now I look at it at every time that it, I'm going to grab it right there. What did I get at 77? Boy, there's some serious slippage. I saw it at 80, 84 up here. Um, so I am stair stepping up, but yeah, those of you that stayed long past me. So I tried to ca capture a couple of little ones in there. It didn't really work for me on this move. So this isn't necessarily the, it doesn't work every time to trade it this way. But if you've seen me trade, I trade this way a lot. So if you look on the 15 and the 5, we got nothing but but net, <laughs> nothing but straight up, right? Um, so I could definitely be in the wrong position. I, you know, I'm pretty comfortable trading whether it's high share size or low share size, as I'm sure you've seen. So I'm not I'm not really concerned uh, about the numbers. Uh, so I'm just really looking at the pattern. So this was a bull tweezer which means it goes up at least the length of that, which is about right here. So that should have, you know, be a sign to turn around, right? So it didn't, it kept going. So that's, you know, not every candlestick pattern is gonna be right, but that's a very strong one. I'm pretty sure that's, you know, in the 70%, 75%, I don't have the, the number in front of me uh, rating. But now we are having a, a hanging man form here. So not only did we reach the top of that move, but and hit and hit break two different support resistance in this case resistance levels now we're having a red candle move down and this is a pretty big opening trade actually um open trade i mean it's open okay so that was definitely a red candle and wow but the greens are going up here so i'm going to reverse there guys and capture that looks like it's going back up and to get ready to reverse right back down again. Yeah, I'm sorry, I called it wrong. It's going down. All right, so I lost some of that. I think I lost five, ten bucks overall on that move. I tried to catch it. I thought it was going to go back up, and it didn't. So it's continuing to go down, or not. Um, so I have it 164.29 short. And I'm just going to. That taught me a lesson there. So uh, for this particular move i'm just going to hold a minute and just see if it wants to retrace down here maybe in this area i'm going to stop trying to catch these because i'm getting some slippage too so that's not working well for me sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so we had three white soldiers almost really they didn't pan out exactly right um now we're heading down toward the uh point of control magnet here and I'm seeing some volume step up so that could either mean that this is about to bounce and go back up or it's going to be sucked down really hard which of course means it can go either way <laughs> but um, I'm watching to see if there's uh, some confirmation of either of those moves it broke through the uh, 9 moving average and it's bouncing off the 20 moving average now now you do have a 5 minutes red but the 15 is still you want to keep a bigger perspective here uh, oh wow so that if this closes like this that is definitely a bear tweezer meaning this is going to go down seriously on the five minute now more people trade the five minute than the one minute so this is definitely something you want to watch patterns on very very closely um, so it's now it might grind right here so let's see you've got uh, normally i'll have a grid up here sometimes telling you when the uh Candlesticks are going to close. Um, what are you guys doing up here? All right, everybody's green. That's good. We're all short. This is definitely the way to be short. Look at that. Look at the strength of this on the scalpers indicator. This is a really good indicator, guys. Make sure you get this, uh, whichever version you find on my episodes. They're, uh, it's worth getting. It's totally free. Everything's free on the channel. We don't sell courses. We just show you entertaining videos and always remember to talk to a financial advisor. Don't just try to emulate this stuff. Um, I almost said this crap. <laughs> it's not crap. <laughs> but the RV strategy is really making uh, people a lot of money. And there's some good open strategies. And I know the Million Dollar Margin Club who trades here sometimes is making a... Um, 
an open strategy book too, which I'm really psyched about. Um, seeing all the different ways they find that different people trade the open to success, you know, with success, not just an idea, but success. Okay, so this could be a ladder bottom turnaround here on a pattern. But really, to, for this to complete is, well, this is still not even closed yet. What went on with that? Um, oh, yeah, we got, we got about, we have a few seconds before that closes, so. This is an inverted hammer if it's at the bottom, which is a sign of a reversal meaning it goes back up, but it hasn't even closed this candle yet here. So look at how strong the sellers are here, guys. It's not, it does not seem like it's going to go up to me, not, not anytime soon here. So now you've got, these are all like shackles or tethers every time it breaks through one of these floors. So you've got to think about it. So here's where it was a lot of these two open session pivots had a lot of taps on them. So this could be enough to break the move. So and then this is starting to pick up up here and it hasn't popped the point of control down so this is drawing it this way there's a lot of people up here uh, wanting to draw it that way so um, now 63 dollars even you want to look at as well as a possible um, support so let's see if it's already starting to it seems like it's already starting to turn around here it's slowing down a bit although this is strong but the volume's dropping with the sellers see it dropping here so that's a sign as well. So we have a bunch of signs telling us that uh, it's going to turn around. So let's just wait and see. I mean, eventually it's going to turn around. Um, okay, so $63. Okay, it broke it. It broke to 63 even. So is it going to go down to the next pivot line? Let's see. 96. Oh, it went back up to 63. Sellers dropped way off. Buyers are coming up. Not liking the look of this. It's a great trade for 100 shares, so we do not want to lose it on a big spike up. So uh, it seems like it's having a lot of trouble breaking the 63. Um, can I get that at 63.03? I'm looking at what the market maker is going to give me. I'm trying to get it right around as close as I can to 63 and turn around right here. That's what I'm looking for. Nope, that might have been it. It might be turning around now. Right, that could be it. I could have missed it here, guys. So let's not miss the move here. Let's see if it broke through here. I'm going to get out. So I'm going to wait just a little longer here. Mostly because I got stung a couple of times on these little scalps. So that is a hammer at the bottom of a trend telling you that it's going to reverse. Okay. They had another one here, really long. Maybe that's a, a jewelry's hammer, a little long, thin thing. No, I don't know. Um, see how the buyers spiked up? So people are people are starting to get a little worried holding this. So... And it could be that the 163 even dollar amount is what is making this do what it's doing. So let's just, this time I'm going to really try to catch it and turn it around. Of course, that'll probably be the time it breaks right through it. Um, no, it goes right back up. So it's just grinding right here. Ouch. Is that it? That really does look like it, guys. Get ready. See if I can catch one more dip here. There's a big spread here. So, um, whoa, okay, I'm going to take that. Where did I get that? 62.95. Now, that could be that it just keeps going, but I wanted to bank it, and now I'm looking for some support to send it up because these are all telling you it's going to go up. However, if this is about to pop down based on this, then I should have stuck with the move. And people will say all the time, why aren't you just, it's trending down. Why aren't you just doing it? Well, that was a long time for me if you watch me trade. So I've been waiting to turn around for every one of these. And uh, when I saw it break, I had 60, 163 as my my number to turn around. It dropped right below it. So I figured, you know, it can't go be too far off and I have a chance to turn it around. Now we've also got um, so, uh, support right here and support right here. So 
Whoa, okay, it pulled the magnet down. Okay, I didn't actually see that happen. Just must have just happened a second ago. So that could really push it down because now here's most of your price action. So we got to keep a close eye on this. Um, you guys, you, most of you are going long now with me. I'm 162.95 and I'm willing to let this break down here before I, I reverse and go along with it. So we've made a nice little cushion. Everybody should have a few hundred bucks. It's the lowest one. Lowest is 130. Man, you make a living with 130. 650 bucks a week. Well, maybe that's not a living, but it uh, can stop that second job. So all you're doing is you're, you're just trading in the channels. So these are giving you a little bit more backbone of when to turn around, you know, and then the volume profile, you want to make sure you get that set up because that gives you a little bit more backbone or, backbone or a little bit more edge. This scalper's indicator gives you a lot more edge, you know, following, uh, trying to, to, to ride the surge that it is. And then, you know, but it, you have to go fast. It's showing you stuff that just happened. So you're assuming it's going to continue to happen and it might not. That's why you want to look at other things as well um so i'm kind of expecting some grinding in this area at least we're not red anymore guys that's good so let's see if this is the spot so we're not we're not there these aren't all going to be huge trades is it going to break right through that or is it oh wow it went all the way up there it's 36 so I'm looking at this now as a resistance and then this as a resistance. Then there could be a huge gap that could really move it. So, you know, now when you, okay, so there it goes up. So it's, it's tapping off that one, pulling down. I'm going to reverse there, guys, um, based on the fact that it tapped and then pulled back through this line. So if you read the book, it specifically describes how to trade that. So it specifically describes when it hits one, then breaks the other channel. That's when you're supposed to be going that way, that it's lost its way forward. Not all the time, but it does have so many examples of how to trade that. Now the fact that it got right back up again is a little concerning. But um, I mean, I'm not going to try to do micro scalps here. I'll tell you that. So. Um, We're doing okay. Most of us have over a couple hundred yet. There's definitely a bunch of you with over 300. So that's good. And that's more like a $1,500 a week. Um, and this is only 100 shares, guys. So uh, if you've made the PDT rule, this is no problem to trade this. It's just a matter of your um, your tolerance for, for potential losses. So you've got to have a trading plan. Um, you've got to have a max loss, and you've got to stick to it. Um, and three bad trades in a row, maybe call it a day. You know, these are, that's basically how my trading plan is. I'll have a max loss, and then I'll have three bad uh, trades in a row. If not a day, I call it a session. I, I, I walk away until I come back for the power hour. Um, but uh, And then at that, if that starts off bad, I'm just done. I did have a red day um, last week that I did not film. Um, it was, it was it was fairly red and it was depressing because it'd been a long time, but it happens to me. Um, but uh, the week made up for it for sure, and then some. And um, it's been it's been a little weird feeling now. So I mean, the market has been going straight up, and then suddenly it's not now. And um, you know, you're wondering based on that news whether that's gonna. It's so emotional, you know? Wow, okay, so. Let's see if it hits here. That was a um, sort of a spinning top or a hangman here telling it's gonna reverse. This was definitely, you know, there's a definite reversal pattern there 
and then also you could call it a spinning top or a bearish or a bullish uh, doji wow 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 i'm gonna take that right there guys i wasn't looking um where did i get that at oh i got it way back up here i wish i would have popped it off of that <sighs> So let's see if it gets back up here. I'm going to try to play this channel. I am long now, 62.80. I thought I could, I should have got it at like 62.75, but let's see, I'm looking to go off just above that point of control, maybe 63.10, 63.15-ish. And or if it breaks through, I might go a little higher up in here to reverse it and just keep playing the odds that it's going to go back and forth, back and forth. It's channel trading. You just don't want it to get too far out of your your position. Then you reverse it. Well, I mean, you you can just sell and buy, sell and buy, sell. Reverse is a little advanced. Um, buy and sell, buy and sell, buy and sell. I'm looking. I'm watching the level two as well as the scalpers indicator, and which is even money right now. And then the uh, sixty-three dollar kept being a spot where it stopped coming down. Now it's got to break through it to go up. wait and it's just slow slow moving here definitely have a reversal pattern here on the five minute to watch too so um, for a bigger a bigger term uh, a bigger length of a reversal so let's see what happens here now it's going back down well I could have had a couple of green at least a nice green trade there I don't want to see this go below 400 I'm happy that we might may actually make 500 today I didn't think we would so that's good. Come on, break that sixty three. I'll hold it if it surges above it. Let's see. Look at the, what the market maker's giving me here. Man, it just can't do it, can it? Man, I could I could have tried to catch catch those. You know, there there was some definite maybe get some of those. Yeah, I'm banging off of this. I wish I was, because I would go long here big time right now. Um, but I'm already in that position, so. It's just grinding here. It's not really. It almost would be crazy to reverse if it breaks it. Okay, there's, there it looks like, okay, so it's it broke it on the ask and then faded again. Man. So, yeah, this is kind of the problem with AMD and these. I mean, the RV strategy is trading large cap stocks that consolidate and move sideways. And that's the safety of them where you just carve out the money following these types of strategies uh, and then scalping, seeing what you see. And that's it. You can't get impatient with it like I do. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. OK, so it broke it. So is it going to hit the, it broke the 09 too for a second. It's at the 09 level. Can it break that? Is that it? Oh, whoa. All right, I'm going to grab that and hope it doesn't keep going. So let's see what happens if it fades again. We're looking for a fade. That's what I'm hoping that it's going to fade. Oh, it's, it finally broke it, so. It looks like it wants to keep breaking and keep going up. So I'm at 163.17 short. I did go short on an upward move, which I get lots of questions, comments, and sometimes your stupid trader remarks sent to me about it. So I understand it's not, you know, the most intuitive way to trade, but it works for me, as you can see. 
um, from, you know, over time, if you watch the videos, you just have to, you know, call it wrong when it's wrong, though. When you're, when you're really wrong, then get out. I'm actually gonna reverse right there. I don't, I don't like it. So I, I think I, I think I made like five or six bucks there. Um, just watching you guys, and you were, you were mostly long too, and I was just like, they're probably right. I think I'll just go long. So. Uh, Wow, look at that. Look at those, uh, look at that candle for me right there. And that, uh, I, I went the other way again. I think I banked a little bit. So that is a hammer at the top of this. Um, shows a reversal move. And that's what I based it on was what was happening there and the strength of this wick. Um, nice will it break through the 63 again give me another 10 or 15 bucks here grinding at the point of control so it lost it up here it didn't want to it didn't stay up in this channel this is sort of like the the waypoint between the two Let's see if it makes another play down here They could have a bear flag forming here. So let's see what happens, which would mean it's going to, oh, oh, okay. Here comes a bunch of price action the wrong way for me. Um, stay nice and green, guys. Whoa, whoa, there it broke it. So look for it to bank off this if it keeps moving strong. It's very strong right now. Very strong, yeah. People, the five-minute traders are trading on a bear flag, guys. So you're going to see a lot of this. This is going to move down. It might even break this. Let's see what happens. Look at there at the top. They're, they're just jumping in. They're piling in on this move right here on the five-minute. So you got to, you know, got to look at multi-alignment all the time. Even in the face of that, I'll probably reverse as it breaks, as it hits down here. And just try to capture what's there. And then think about my move right after that. Just, just, you know, manage what I do there. So that was forty. What did I get that at forty-eight? Okay. So that broke me five hundred. That was one of the reasons I wanted to do it was to uh, bank that money. Now, if it just keeps going, I guess this would be the point. Um, I might consider I've made a terrible error uh, or not. There it goes back up. So it broke through here. It got further and further away from the point of control. Um, buyers are starting to come up a little. So I got it 162.48 long. Some of you are still short. That might be the right move. I'm going to reverse there. What did I get? The 74. God, I keep looking at the ask instead of the. Uh, uh. So I thought it was at the top of this line right here. So a um, little confused there. This is still happening, guys. Remember, this is still the move is still short right now. If you go by the five minute pattern. I was just catch, catching a, a quick rebound. Look at the seller's indicator. I mean, the seller's on the scalping indicator. And the volume went down as the buyers went up. So that means sellers are still in control. Sellers are still on this five-minute move here, which still has um, a minute and a half left to see what's going to happen.
So I'm looking for it to get down here where these are and then manage my position if, if it keeps going. That's what I'm looking to do. So here's the market maker. Right there, 46, 40 goes, oh man, it's moving fast. So um, 48, 45, that could be as low as it's gonna go. It tapped it down there a couple times and just jumped right back up. It's okay, I mean, I'm in a great position for it to be doing what it's doing. So. Just gonna hold here, guys. It's just, uh, it's it's more boring trading, but it's more, you know, it's it's safer. It's safer, and you can really grind out a nice living, which is the idea of the channel: 100 a day, 200 a day, 300 a day, whatever it might be. And as your confidence goes up, then you can add to that. But you got to take it slow. You got to trade in a sim. Make sure this strategy or any other strategy you're trying is working for you. And uh, God, my finger just twitched. I almost took that. Uh, by accident, almost uh, I would have made money, but I'm waiting for it to get on this level like it's been a couple times before, before I reverse. I'm gonna take it, what was that? 43, and then it goes through it, but I'm okay with that, okay? I'm okay with that, because I think it's gonna spring back up, but I, it might not. So now it's gonna be really hard for me to drop below 500 at this point. So this is actually better than I thought today because I was thinking we we're going to be between three and four hundred. So it's AMD has been moving fairly good for us. Um, so sellers are still ahead. If I were like to just take a position right now, I probably no, I would take long. I would take long if I was just going in right now. So look at that move there. That's a that's a beautiful pattern that shows going up for that uh, that block pattern shows that this is it's, it's a perfect block pattern that shows that this is going to go up to somewhere in this area at least so let's see that candlestick length from here um now you got to worry about the resistance you got but that's right where the point of control is too so i'd be more inclined to think that that might happen that way oh excuse me i still got a lot to do I usually get up, you know, 6, 6.30, sometimes as late as 7, and work out, try to get a hike in, catch up on a little bit of work before here. Oh, yeah, I'm at time, actually, guys. That's time. Okay, so this is going to be my last trade, and it looks like it's going to be a good trade. I will sell it out. See if we can get up to 163. I'm going to take that. I'm out. I'm out, guys. Um, often it'll fade right off of here. So $641 in 32 minutes um, with only 100 shares. So that's pretty good. So these were all, it was all pretty much easy to call. Hopefully you followed along with me. Um, and there was never much at risk. I don't know how much was the most I was down, like maybe 40 bucks, 50 bucks maybe. I don't think it was over 50 bucks on any trade. I had a 100 max loss set. So hopefully, guys, if you like what you saw, you're giving us a thumbs up and subscribing. Remember to look at all the different links for the books that I highly support, Trading in the Zone, uh, Best Loser Wins, um, of course, the Day Trading Volume 1, which we just traded, um, the candlestick pattern playbook and then the other book that's out that I don't I can't remember the title of brand new uh, but there's the million dollar margin club has a whole bunch so you should just go to their author's page um, anyway guys um, thanks for watching stay green out there and uh, we'll see what this market's going to do because it's acting funny um, but uh, hopefully it's just going to go right back up again that's what I would think so all right we'll talk to you soon
Right. 